Hey guys, my name is Matt, uh, again, and we combined the opposable self and platform co code conduct uh, conversations and it turned into a really, really rich discussion. Um, a couple of points we hit on, um, we're thinking about on the, the, the kind of code of conduct, what, what that looks like. Um, was you know, looking for, for clear language rather than like a wall of text and figuring out sort of effective and maybe granular ways of communicating um, the, the code of conduct of a community. Um, potentially sort of like ways of pulling in members for both engagement and enforcement. So perhaps like the use of randomly selected juries of members. Um, sort of the, the idea that perhaps as, as a code of conduct is about sort of orienting people to the values of, of a project that the education mandate of co-ops and the co-op principles might extend to actually sort of like providing uh, opportunities for personal development so, to bring people kind of into more into line or more, you know, with the co-op values. Um, there's also a really interesting discussion about positive, not just sort of having the code of conduct be something that, um, that sort of is a, an enforcement against negative behavior, but also is sort of a, a holding up of virtue in a way. Um, so celebrating those who best embody these different values in their, in their behavior and participation in the community. Um, so, so as to create almost like role models. Um, and then fi the, the final point I want to hit on was sort of the, the idea that because as a co-op, you know, the members own the sort of data that's being generated, that we can almost sort of figure out ways to use that information to find how, you know, the health of the community and then feed that, in, feed that into into both kind of the further evolution of these sort of codes of, code of conduct community standards and sort of say, like, oh, maybe, maybe people aren't, you know, there's, there's an issue with sort of, you know, honesty and caring for others right now. How do we address that? So being able to kind of like use that data as something to build sort of the health of the community rather than it being something that's currently being used by platforms for extraction. Thank you so much. One more thing I'm going to ask everybody that I, I apologize for not saying earlier is what is a possible project coming out of that discussion. So obviously we're still here, we can have more discussion, but do you have a particular project that come out of that? Because why? Maybe some of you all already know of examples of that possible project that could help you, you know, leapfrog. I mean, in, in my particular case, it's for, um, so, so the social.coop uh, Mastodon instance is in the beginning stages of the development of our code of conduct. So this, so, so these notes are gonna be going out to the, the, the group of people who use that platform. And we're going to be sort of really trying to trying to work on that probably in the next com coming months and seeing what emerges out from that. We would love to share what we develop and, and encourage people to be involved. Um, you know, as as some something that could be hopefully useful to to all platform co-ops as they think about how they relate to their members and the sorts of people they want their members to be. Right. So if anyone's looking at code of conduct or safety and enforcement on digital platforms or terms of service or what have you. Here with Matt. All right, so I'm gonna expand this. I said one minute, I'm gonna say one minute 30. A little report back and also a possible project that comes out of it so people can maybe uh, engage. Okay, so we had a multi-stakeholder structure and used uh, good, good work as an example. Uh, so the types of stakeholders uh, vary by uh, level of commitment and level of contribution. So um, all the different combinations would include friends, contributors, members and alumni. Uh, we talked about how um, uh, the contribution, um, the contributors have a agreement, um, a two-sided agreement with the organization. Uh, members um, have a different type of agreement and may, be, um, and may bring in contributors. And um, we also talked about partners or clients and being able to balance a portfolio of work that um, included um, sliding scale, but still met the, um, the economic promises to, um, to members and contributors. Um, and we didn't really have a follow-up project for that, right? Okay. All right, thank you. We had a, a considering the subject, it's a pretty extraordinary conversation about death care, basically. Um, our, uh, what was refreshing to find out initially was that our needs are not unusual. <laughs> They're uh, easily served by the community that sits in this room, for instance. Um, so digital products and purposes um, that we 
really are operating as a, a village. Uh, I was referred by one of our participants to uh, Ashby Collective in Berkeley, which uh, would be useful because I'm in the Bay Area. The, uh, the idea of younger elders helping older elders came up. Uh, in terms of website creation, it's probably pretty simple. Uh, here, here in the room, we have uh, Share Tribe and Squarespace, so uh, those are folks for me to follow up on. There was a suggestion of starting with the burial income because it probably was uh, more reliable and more, more uh, valuable. Uh, somebody suggested death over dinner as one of the, the means that people find out about what we're doing. And uh, understanding whether we are both B2C and B2B, um, that there is a, a stock of, of support like attorneys, and there's a, a flow in terms of referrals. Uh, and uh, I think that's enough to share. conversation was about how the infrastructure could uh, power various models of platform cooperatives. And the two highlights included uh, ride hailing, so how that could be fully owned by be community managed, whether it's uh, drivers, uh, riders, uh, any other stakeholders, and um, also more so uh, messaging, as in think, how would you have a decentralized version of Twitter, Slack, such and how would that work on the infrastructure level and the big upshot is that you won't necessarily need any form of universal validation they can just be specific to whichever community and that's the benefit from uh, having this uh, source network and then going forward is to start realizing those business models and uh, several others and pretty much any of those that were brought in the room could actually be implemented and how would that how would you get from that concept to the actual practice hi so we were talking about the uh, governance of uh, starting uh, platform cooperatives and um, so we looked at some of um, the ideas of six, uh, that have been successful from you know, you know signing up uh, in the open source space to everyone getting three votes uh, in the design having uh, empathy tours with designers and um, to maintaining community guides so that people were able to understand how to participate um, we looked at the different models and some issues with them such as uh, with bureaucracy whether you're interested enough to be involved in the project you can go ahead with it but downsides being that those who tend to have more resource resources are uh, better uh, represented uh, in democracy those affected are often not the ones represented um, by the vote um, and some successes came from embedding with existing, um, uh, sorry, using minority voice committees uh, who people believe will be underrepresented to having a filter going through that first, and um, having advocates and allies. One mentioned a, a German uh, model uh, with the autonomen, um, where people are tasked with being the dissenting voice um, so that there isn't a, a negative slant to that. Um, and really our, our final takeaway was um, to discuss in the next breakout was what is the minimum thing we could do to ensure that governance, um, a governance model is inclusive and how do you embed that so that it involves, evolves over time to be inclusive as organizations change and scale. Hello. So we talked about the um, potential tech stack for platform cooperatives, and um, Damiano, who had to leave for a flight, had some pretty developed ideas when we first started talking. <coughs> this is a screenshot that he came to the talk with. Um, if you again, if you scroll down a little bit, or like maybe full screen or something, you can see the whole thing. And it's this idea about growth hacking um, platform cooperatives. So. We kind of like ended up making a whole little um, thing, but I, I think it's probably best to just leave this, uh, this screenshot up and I'll kind of talk about it. So the idea was that we want to um, uh, empower people to like do growth hacking for uh, platform cooperatives and we want to specifically um, bootstrap communities, right? So this, this whole thing is it's all about 
Uh, it's a community building dashboard and it's all for like uh, community oriented projects. It might be a platform cooperative or it might be something else entirely. The sort of counter example that we were using was a, a music festival. If somebody wanted to organize a music <coughs> festival, you kind of need a community, you need like early stakeholders, you need many different types of stakeholders and you could do that through this, uh, through this um, platform. This itself is a platform, it's like a meta platform sort of. And so it was all about targeting um, early users, so people who might use this, uh, this future platform in the future, or sorry, it was about targeting people who might use a project in the future that is hosted on this platform, and contributors, people who might uh, help out with the uh, development of a project. And so it was all about uh, engaging the community, making things visible, uh, being transparent and uh, accountable. Uh, it's also about validating assumptions, right? So if you have an idea for a platform, it would be very useful to engage with people, talk about it, and get people to say, yes, I would use this. I would use Fair BNB if it existed. And then that allows you to validate your assumption when you turn around and go and try to maybe get financial support for the project that you're working on. It also helps you to build traction early on when, um, when it's really, really important that you do that. And it helps you to uh, find collaborators. So if you are showcasing your project and, and you can sort of you see right there, there's this team idea, right? So if you can showcase sort of like what are the gaps in your project, it, it makes it much easier to attract people with those skills. And then like I said, showcasing your project is very valuable in terms of uh, getting this traction early on and, and sort of talking about it in a, in a sort of like a summarizing way, I guess. Um, so we also talked about like uh, unique value propositions for supporters, particularly people who might want to go and, and look at different projects. This could be very valuable because it gives supporters a sense of voice and it allows them to contribute in the feedback process as you're developing this idea. It allows them to keep updated and that's sort of, we broke that down into different ideas of, um, uh, different ideas of supporters. Like maybe you're very casual, you just want an update every couple of months. Maybe you're really, really engaged and you want to update every, every week or so. Um, and then it allows supporters to connect with each other. If I know that in six months, Fair B and B is going to be in my community, and I know that there's like five people in my community that are really, really into this. We can start talking to each other and organize um, how we are going to use this platform and sort of uh, connect with each other. And so that was the basic idea. Um, it itself is a project, and so we started talking. We started dreaming about you know building it ourselves, or maybe um, attracting other people to build this sort of thing. And it's something that. Um, was very inspiring and we'd like to possibly develop in the future. Thanks. So, oh, do you want to share? Uh, yeah, still on. Super, okay. <laughs> um, why don't you go sit yeah. here? All right, so uh, we merged a few groups and the title ended up being a, a platform builder. So this is actually a good combination from, from your stuff. So if you're like a pre-launch platform, then we were discussing how to create the platform where that then allows the activity uh, that needs to happen. And uh, we had a good, good group like a platform, uh, platform co-ops, uh, then people building tech designers, researchers in, in the discussion. And we noted that there is clearly a need for having a better tool, better instructions, how to get started, especially if the team is not technical, uh, how to get forward in this like a jungle how to get, uh, because the end product is something online that connects people if, if it's a platform co-op. And um, there have been attempts to build like one tool to fit all cases, like I knew from the share drive experience that we attempted doing that, it wasn't that easy. So, so now we're seeing that there needs to be very different, uh, at least some different tools for different use cases. And then uh, we discussed a lot about Savvy co-op use case and their specific needs and what they have been doing so far searching for some tools that fit and solve part of their problem, uh, but then having issues now how to get forward without scratching everything that is built so far. So there is need for open tools that can be built on continuously. And uh, yeah, so we started a little bit of uh, listing the tools that have been proven useful um, and uh, then also listing what are the needs and uh, there, there was also this platform code development kit project that Trevor Schultz and Trevianus and others are building forward that was briefly mentioned in the 
showcases on Friday. So I think that's something that we should probably collaborate with uh, uh, in, in the future. So this was kind of a clearly stating the need, uh, starting a little bit of the listing, but we didn't get so far with the list yet. Uh, I'll ask uh, 